Yo, what's up guys, it's boy Daniel Wattis coming to you live. If you want to find me, I'm on Instagram at DanielJ23. I also sell on eBay or I sell on, on Instagram. So if you see anything in here that you like um, from my personal collection, just DM me. We can set something up, either purchase or a trade. I'm always down for that. But yeah, man, these are some of my uh, grills that are in my collection. So I figured I'd show you Shoe Crew TV, man. Let's get into this. We'll start off with like some of the newer stuff. These are the guest pieces. We got some nasty Nas from Supreme. MJ, some of the stuff you all you've seen. This is one of the pieces you don't see often. This is the NBA Jam TE uh, Tournament Edition. Uh, this was a promo shirt from the early 90s. This is a 91 uh, Jordan piece. This is a Salem shirt. You see the old Anvil shirt, single stitch, super dope. This is a cool Stanley DeSanti shirt. Wizard of Oz, uh, it's from 1992. This is a super dope piece, man. You don't see that too often. Spice Girls, this is the original tour shirt. By far one of my uh, best pieces that I've ever owned. Super crazy Pepsi promotional shirt. This is from early 90s, probably like 94, 95. Shaq had his own branding with Reebok and the back is dope too. This is all over print. You don't see these often. Uh, this was just a promotional shirt for Pepsi. And uh, yeah, that's dope. These were all found at a uh, flea market, a local flea market. These are all original. Uh, this one's from 1995, 96. There's that one. This one's when the movie came out, which was like 97, 98. Uh, you can see the back on that. These were uh, given out when the uh, Selena movie came out for a promotion. This is another shirt. This one's probably my favorite here from the bunch, 96. And then this one as well. Something you don't see every day. These were all purchased for $2 a piece. So this is probably one that you don't see often or you do see often, but not in this. This is a, a pretty rare piece. Everybody's seen this jacket probably. But one thing you don't see is the black collar and the black cuffs when this piece originally released this was the this was the one that came out so this one has a darker print the ones that you see pretty often that has flooded the market are the red um, so you just don't see these often and especially in a small that's a pretty rare size to find those who know me know that boys to men is probably my all-time favorite r&b group collecting their stuff is definitely something for me this is one you don't see too often this piece here these are from 90, this one's from 94, 95. This one's like 96, it's the evolution. Yeah, man, I just have a bunch of stuff that I've been thrifting. Let's pull out some randoms. This is original Power Rangers. This is probably dead stock, I've never worn this. This shirt would probably go for about $25, $30. Um, maybe more, just depends who wants it. It all depends on the buyer, man, in this thrifting. This is a 91 NBA final shirt. This is a Salem sportswear. So uh, yeah, this piece is super dope. The whole lineup there. Uh, this is when MJ took over, man. Took over the throne of the NBA. Got this NWO piece. Those who know NWO, I mean, there's nothing more to say. This was the greatest era in wrestling right here. Wolfpack, NWO stuff, so. This was before the romper craze came through. This is a starter um, overall shorts. A pinstripe with the, this was thrifted. Um, and just a piece that I came on to. It's got the starter there so you can flap it over. So yeah, man. Random Tommy Pickles. Uh, this one's dead stock too. This one was $9.99. I got this one for 99 cents, man, actually. This is a 94 Metallica shirt, Tennessee River. This is just a dope, dope shirt, man. Uh, you can see the 94 there. And then uh, the cool piece, the cool thing about this piece is that the uh, skeleton here glows in the dark. This one is another favorite of mine. You see the Jordan Nike tag here. The whole sizing is off, but it's a medium. Uh, you see the Nike branding there. Oh man, I've seen them go for over $100, $150. Um, after ASAP Rocky wore these, I mean, it's just, it's just gone crazy. I even have the shorts to match. These are crazy. These are bananas, man. So you see the tag there. And uh, Air Jordan. And then the uh, Nike branding there. So man, imagine stunting in this. Crazy, crazy. ASAP don't have these, I'll guarantee you that. I also have this one. This will match two. Uh, this is an original 1988 piece. When the whole Mars and Jordan collab was coming out. It's on Earth and on Mars. And the funny thing about this, man, it actually have two of them. This one is another one. This one's a white pair. This one's a little bit more thrash, but you can see this is all original from 88. This one is a super rare piece, man. For those, this is uh, Belbeth DeVoe from New Edition. 
Um, you might know them from the song Poison. Uh, this is an original 1990 piece. Get that Hanes tag, man. I've never seen this print ever. Um, so if you have it, please let me know. But I've never seen this. The music is mentally hip hop, smoothed out on the R&B tip with a pop feel appeal to it. So this is super dope, man. One of my favorite groups is New Edition, so. This is a, a newer piece, but I thrifted this for $2.99. You can follow, if you look on my Instagram, you see I thrifted this. This is an original Yeezus piece from the tour. So yeah, that was pretty cool to find. These shirts go for like 70, 80 bucks. So finding it for $2.99 was dope. This piece, everybody's gonna be like, what the hell is 3T or who is 3T? My sister used to jam them all the time and it's an R&B group. And the funny thing is that these are Michael Jackson's nephews. Finding this shirt was the hardest thing ever, but when I saw it, I couldn't pass it up. This is an original 1990 uh, Janet Jackson tour shirt. I've never seen this print ever. When I saw this, I was like, man, I, I have to have it. So I uh, picked this up. This came all the way from Indonesia with the Janet Jackson on the back. A lot of you see the 90s Jackson shirts. They're all black and all that, but I've never seen this, this one before. You can see the same tag as the uh, Velvet Devote. You can see my Homie the Clown collection here. Uh, these are both from 19... Yeah, this one's from 1990 as well. These are both from 1990 funny ass show man growing up so all these all these shirts mean something to me man like this jordan shirt uh this is so dope man the jordan it says back to back with pippin on the back they don't just don't make shirts like this anymore man it's an original um 1986 yeah this is original 1986 you can tell by the tag um they, there's no reprints here man this is original 86 journey t-shirt that's super dope with the uh, baseball sleeves dead stock Jordan Wizards, brand new man, this is dead suck. I got this from a girl at work. Never rocked it man, keeping it like this. Dope ass Sting t-shirt. This is from 90, I wanna say like 98. Yeah, 1998, uh, that's all original. Selena, this was uh, from 2001, so it's a little bit later than the other ones, but dope shirt nonetheless. These are pretty hard to come by. Especially in the small, the old WWF t-shirts. This is Diesel. This is a small. It's not a kid's. It's a small with the old WWF tag. So these are really hard to find. So if you see these, they go for probably like 70, 80 bucks. Of course, we got some bootleg uh, greatness here. A thin line between love and hate. With Martin Lawrence. And then, of course, you got H-Town in the back. You got this Bow Wow. I know y'all used to jam Bow Wow back in the day. Scream 2 tour. This is way too small, so if a girl wants this, hit me up now. This is before Space Jam, uh, before Space Jam ever even came out, was thought of. Um, this is when Jordan was promoting his sevens and his eights with the hair Jordan. This is when the eights came out. Um, you see all of them wearing the eights. And then Bugs wearing them too. And then you can see the date right here. 1993. Um, so yeah, and then you got Porky the Pig in the back. This is a dope shirt. This is probably one of my favorite shirts. Another shirt you've probably never seen. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong Racing promotional shirt from Toys R Us. This is a dope shirt. And then we got the back right here. With the Toys R Us. I found this at the Goodwill about a week ago. Or maybe a little bit later than that. But uh, this is an original uh, September for 9-11. This is a guest jeans. Still got the tag on it. About $3.99. Sean Weatherspoon from round two actually just posted this. Uh, he was super hype when he found that. The old Willie Nelson. This is uh, probably one of my oldest. This is from 1983. Willie Nelson t-shirt. It's an old school tag and it's just super thin, man. Right, man, so you saw all the t-shirts. Now we're gonna get into some jackets, some jacket fire. This is a George Strait. Um, this is straight from the 90s, man. This is super dope. Of course, what everybody loves, the Tommy Hill figure. Uh, same old, same old, man. Y'all seen that before. Probably something you haven't seen um, is this. It's pretty dead stock, man. I, I got, my wife gave this to me for Christmas. Um, this is an original 1984 Jackson 5 uh, tour shirt. Uh, this is for the Victory Tour, I believe, sponsored by Pepsi, so you don't see that too often. Man. So there's that. This Nautica Challenge, this is, this is uh, cool. You got the Nautica Challenge on the side uh, with the J-Class right there uh, the colors on it are great that's why i love it this one was thrifted this one's like a parka it's kind of longer um super heavy duty with the fleece on the inside tommy hill figure 
And you got the patch on the side. I guess we can get into sneakers. So not only do I collect vintage clothing, but I have vintage shoes too, I guess you could say. I was a sneakerhead before all this. So uh, this is a original 1992 charcoal colorway. Uh, it's kind of flaking from the sides, but nonetheless still wearable. I wear these sometimes. So um, 1992, man, you don't see those often. Probably my most worn shoe right now is the Yeezy, Yeezy Boost V2. This colorway goes with a lot and it's super comfortable. So yeah, I guess you can, I'm, I'm a high beast for these, um, but Kanye West is definitely my favorite rapper right now. So these, Iverson was, uh, I know a lot of the 90s kids, Jordan was their favorite, but for me in the 2000s, Allen Iverson was uh, the Jordan of my era and his shoes were just, I mean, if you had them in school, you were the coolest, all three M up top. Uh, right here on the silver part and their insoles his insoles always had a picture of him or something cool on the inside playstation hirachis you don't see these too often with the playstation on the tongue these um i got at a goodwill uh most people have never seen this model before um probably because it's a WNBA player cheryl swoops uh, but she was the first girl to have her own signature shoe uh, so finding these at a goodwill was pretty cool for me this is actually a dope sneaker man now that i'm looking at it it's a really cool 90s sneaker, man. Being from Texas, I'm a huge, huge Spurs fan. So these are samples, Tim Duncan shoes. They're not the prettiest. Adidas basketball, but you can see the Duncan right here on the strap. 21 right here, 21 stitched on the side. Then if you open this up, which is my favorite part, um, it has his accomplishments. Um, so these were from 06, I believe. So they don't have the other championships. And then on the inside, you can see it says developer sample, not for resale. So you won't see these probably ever. One of my favorite SBs is the Cheech and Chong. I kind of hit it with the X-Acto knife so you can see the hits of the green underneath. Some people were scared to do it, but I just went all in. The green laces, you got the smoke on the insole. Probably one of the best collabs. This one was definitely one of the best themed uh, Nike SBs from the, um, when the SB hype was in. So probably one of my favorite basketball shoes is the Penny 2. Um, I just love the structure of it, the 3M on here. This one is the 2008 pair. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. And these two Nike shoes. Um, this is probably one of my favorite Nike basketball shoes in the recent years. This one was actually, I, it wasn't too hard because there was a lot of sneakers that came out during that time. Um, with the Galaxy drop, uh, a lot of people went for like the LeBrons, the Big Bangs and stuff like that. Um, so I actually got two pairs on the day they released and I remember them. They were $95. I got these at nice kicks and then I bought a pair afterwards for 120. I guess that was the guy's resale. So I doubled up and I sold the other pair and I kept this one. This one's like been worn. It's just a beautiful sneaker, man. The gray, uh, the 3M, the orange, the galaxy print glow in the dark. I mean, it just had everything going for it. This is definitely one of his best model. I think the KD4. And then the silver, the silver bullets are just like an everyday shoe that I can just throw on and go. So definitely, definitely a classic kid. My son wanted wanted to show some of his collection. So these are 2003 uh, LeBrons, his first signature shoe to match his dad. We got the Iversons with the same insole, which is cool that they did that for toddlers. And then here, um, shout out to Erica. Uh, she gave me these. She used to be a worker at the Nike outlet. Uh, these are sample pairs from 2000 these were just gifted to me so uh, shout out to her and also my son wanted to show you when he gets older uh we have the original concords yellowing right here but that's normal on all these older shoes well near dead stock the girl that gave them to me sold them to me she said she wore them once uh to match her boyfriend back in uh, high school so uh, shout out to Jen thank you Jen for these hats are a big thing of mine you can see what I'm rocking right now is the uh promotional hat for the NFL Blitz. One of the greatest games ever. We have this original Boys in the Hood hat. I wore this to SneakerCon, got a lot of compliments off of this. We got your Supreme five panels. That one's from 2013. We got a Spurs script logo. Uh, this is Sports Specialties. I know Malik Rose is on here and uh, one of the best signatures here is Greg Popovich. I found this at, a th um, at the flea market actually. OG Spice Girls, still brand new with the tag on it. And you got your Stone Cold. You rarely see this model. The Supreme 2013, this is one of my favorite hats. Just the crosses and all that. Uh, that's dope. Original 92 
Uh, USA basketball hat. It's got that in the back. This is also a sports specialties. And we got Tyson versus McNeely. Just some random hats. These are my sons right here. This is an original 95 uh, painter set. This is crazy, man. I wish this fit me. That's a crazy hat. Another one of my sons, uh, Hair Jordan. This is a kids with the Nike branding. It's uh, super cool too. This is original. Hulk Hogan, Aladdin, Goosebumps. Just some cool random finds that I found in the past, man. This one is my favorite Spurs hat, this is my lucky hat. Got all the patches on the side, Spurs on the top, script. This one's a Twins. Like I said, you can find me at Instagram, DanielJ23. And shout out to Matt for coming through with Shoe Crew for showcasing my pieces. And like I said, if you see anything um, in here that you like, DM me, uh, we can talk about prices or trades. And I also have a ton of other stuff, man. All this right here. And then we have the closet full um, of just random glory. We got some Aerosmith, 98 Degrees, Ozzy. Um, and then we have all the shirts down here, man. We got some more hats. We got the old school Raiders, Camel. Um, just a bunch of stuff, man. Look at this. OG Power Ranger toys. We got Barbie Spurs from the 90s. Um, some old school Dragon Ball. Man, I got a lot of stuff, man. So. Um, I just don't limit myself to t-shirts. This is my thing, man. This is what I love to do, and uh, I appreciate Matt coming through. I think Shoe Crew's doing a great thing out there. Um, so yeah, man, y'all hit him up. Hit me up if you want to get into any of these uh, t-shirts. Um, buy for yourself, your girl, whatever. Um, yeah, man, that's it. Peace.